Well, discussions between lawmakers are continuing for two bills that could lead to changes in bond for accused criminals if they're signed into law. News 19's Zoe Henry explains. A Senate Judiciary Subcommittee is considering new laws aimed at keeping repeat offenders behind bars. One of the bills in consideration would require courts to consider prior convictions when setting bond. Senator Brian Adams says this bill could reduce crime in South Carolina. It's a revolving door to maybe slow some of that down, especially those career criminals that keep getting out utilizing the bond system. This is to kind of help set up some of the regulations. The bill would also require defendants with a criminal history to pay the bond in full. The second bill would only allow licensed bondsmen to oversee electronic monitoring. Currently, bail bondsmen, private companies hired by the county or the county itself, monitor the electronic devices. Bondsmen would also have to inform the local solicitor of bond violations within 48 hours. Ricky Hill is part of the South Carolina Bail Agents Association. We would like for a requirement to be put in uh, for bondsmen to be notified of violations. Uh, sometimes the bail bondsmen uh, do not know that the person is violating. Columbia Police Chief Skip Holbrook says reform is needed. There are circumstances where the bondsman is notified in certain companies, but there is no law that I know of a requirement that a company has to notify the bondsman of a violation. Neither bill has been presented to the full Judiciary Committee. In Columbia, Zoe Henry, News 19, WLTX. Well, discussion over these bills will continue at the State House in the coming weeks.